Now to deal with the color, uh, the formatting, I'm going to delete all the manual coloring that has been done already. So I'm going to click, drag over the range of cells. I'm going to go to the fill tool, which is up here. I'm going to click uh, no fill. So all of the cells have been cleared of their colors. And while they're still selected, I'm going to get Excel to do the color formatting for us. So I'm simply going to go to the conditional formatting tool, click, come down to color scales, go over to the first one, click, and Excel will automatically um, select a color palette for us. It will make all the reds for one, all the fives will be green and so on. We could collect, we could select our own colors, but it would involve more work, so it's not really necessary. And over on the right hand side, I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, five. And this is first choice and second choice and third choice, fourth choice, first, second, and so on. I'm going to go back to this set of cells and I'm going to use the conditional formatting again for those. So click down to color scales over to the first one and click. And so we know what those colors mean now. And we can, uh, the beauty of these, this color scheme is that if we change any of the cells, the colors will update automatically. So if we go to grace, and we go over to French and she decides it wasn't going to be a, she wasn't going to make a, make it a five. She was going to make it a two. If I type in the number two, press return, the colors update automatically. If we were a four, the color would auto automatically update to that color and so on. So we put it back to a five. And there we go. And that's it for the color formatting. The key is to have no manual formatting at all and use the conditional formatting tool after you have selected the range of cells that you want to apply those colors to. And that's it.